Hello, back again. I'm just going to show you how I edit my uh, TV recordings to remove uh, ads and everything. I use a bit of software called Video Redo. It's not free, but for me, I've always found it the easiest bit of software to use. So let me just open a video. Uh, got some TV recordings. I'll just open this one. Right, to navigate through your videos, you can either put your mouse cursor on the bar and scroll through it. Or you've got the buttons down the bottom here, which will say advance a second, three seconds, five seconds, or back the other way. You can change these by going into tools, options, then navigation. And so you can change them to any uh, desired uh, length you want, say, five or six seconds, 10, whatever you want. You can also change how the mouse wheel works. If you want that to move, say five seconds, 10 seconds. So you can set that to what you want. I'm just gonna leave it as I've uh, got it set. Just gonna cancel that. Right, let me get back to the start. Right, let me find the start of a program. I'm just using my mouse cursor to stream, to go through the video. Let me find video. Now I'm just using my mouse wheel. Uh, let's find the start. Right, that looks like the start. Thing you can do, you can click either side on the frames and it will move that frame to the center. So that's where it's starting. But I'm just going to uh, start slightly ahead of it. And on the first cut, I can just mark the end, which is there, and just click uh, cut selection. So now uh, that's been removed in red. Now I'm just going to scroll through it to find the next ad break. And oh, there it is. Just scroll back. I'm just using the uh, mouse wheel now. Oh, there's the ad break. As you can see, that's where it ends. It starts blending out. So I will go there just before the uh, channel logo blends back in. So I'm uh, gonna click start. It's just marked it. And I'm gonna scroll to find the beginning again. That looks like it there. Yep, and so uh, say here on the right, I'm just gonna click that frame. That frame will move to the center. So I want this frame. As you can see, it's moved to the center. So I'm going to click end, which is the start again. So it's marked. I'm just going to cut selection. So that's the ads removed from that part. I scroll through again. Oh, ad break again. Just use my mouse wheel to scroll through. Oh, there's the ad break. And that's uh, the end of the... Uh, of the TV program blending out and I will go for that frame click start and just scroll back a bit and that's where it comes back in again so click end and cut section again scroll through it again and keep going keep going Got to be an ad break somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right. Just move, uh, use my mouse wheel. Scroll back. And again, All right. Going to click on the right hand side here. And as you can see, that's where it started blending out again. So I'm going to go for that frame. Click start. And just move the cursor to find the start of the film again which is there, so we just move, uh, use the mouse, uh, mouse wheel, uh, start frame, so click the end, so that uh, section is selected, and click cut again, should be near the end of the movie now, yep, coming up to the end, And I normally leave a little bit of blank on the end. 
just before it starts up we'll say uh, ads again and for the next program so if I can do is just click start it will automatically select that whole selection so you don't have to do the end part and cut right let me just double check ads yep just check I haven't missed any and ads ads again it's old Kevin Bacon and ads right thing we can do now down the bottom here you've got save video or you can use save video up on the right I'll just use the one down the bottom got save video I'm gonna save it as an mp4 so I've selected that now I'm gonna go select file to where I want to uh, save it to so I'm gonna go into uh, my videos I don't want the date and everything at the end so I'm just gonna select that hey, where's the S it'll add the dot uh, mp4 again so that's no problem so I just want the gift for Christmas then I'm going to uh, select and then just click save doesn't take too long to save the file I'll do this in uh, real time and now it started saving the file this is all in real time and that's the uh, file saved so I'll just click OK and I will just close uh, video redo so as always uh, I hope this video has helped and uh, goodbye